fractals and fields can be used to track information, much like in a register. Here I've created a custom field, and you can see up here in the top right, we just click on Affiliates. So this list is a bunch of affiliates links that I have. So if I click on one here, then I can create the fields to track all the information that I need to, get to, uh, to track. As you can see, I've got affiliate name, email, usually of the referrer, the link itself, which is a URL, created by the currency that the uh, funds are paid out in, uh, the affiliate owner, so who, own, who set it up and who owns the account, uh, any other additional emails, modified uh, email opt-outs, and then I can put a summary of the benefits. I can also add notes to a history of um, what might have been discussed, or perhaps a use case, or even notes of conversation had with the, uh, the partner manager from the partnering firm. Further down here, we can see attachments, emails, open activities, and close activities that relate back to this register module. So to create this, I simply go to the spanner icon in the top right. I then go to modules and fields. I then go to new module. And then now that I'm in a new module, I can name it up here. And then I can drag in the fields that I need. So if this was going to be an asset register, then you might say uh, have um, say for example, vehicle registration numbers, VIN numbers, engine numbers, uh, any kind of information you want to do, just drag in one of these items onto the list. Uh, you can have different types of assets uh, sectioned off by different elements and having different sections. You can then drag fields into those, um, set dates and reminders for things that need to be updated, such as registrations, etc. So. Once you've got your module done, you save it. Now I'm just going to close it. I'm going to cancel this. But once you've saved it, you can choose where you want it to be in relation to what's up here, or you've got the little more icon. And you do that by clicking on organize modules. So depending on the relevance, how much you access it and how important it is, uh, you can select whether or not it's shown by using the checkbox and then dragging it forward and backward in the order of priority. And that's how to create a module in Zoho CRM. Thank you.